I, I didn't even know if missions were still ahead of me. It was just little yeses along the way and just trusting the Lord that ultimately brought me to being like, okay, here we go, Nigeria. When I first landed, my luggage didn't come in. And so it was like, okay, a little bump in the road. It was a little exciting, it was a little nerve wracking. And I just remember being in my room and it was about seven o'clock and everything was kind of hitting at once. And it was like, okay, I'm about to be here for the next two months. I'm a little homesick, I'm a little worried. And then the doubts just kind of started creeping in and being like, am I supposed to be here? Was I really trusting God in this way or was it just this door was open and I, I felt like I should go in that direction and I'm in this room and you know, I'm just alone. And literally the only thing that I had with me was my Bible. The Lord ended up using it for good because it brought me to a place of ultimate surrender to Him and having no other option than to trust Him with my entire life. I thought that I had done that already, but being in a place where Christians are persecuted, where you don't know anybody, it's a whole new definition of surrender, a whole new definition of trust. I had no control. We had different soccer camps that were going on in different towns. I was talking to one of the coaches who had lived there, and he was telling me about how they couldn't have soccer goals that were on the field. And they said that they did before, but the Muslims came and they stole them. And that there used to be a church nearby, but they burned it down recently. It was crazy to, to think of things that we take for granted so much here. and being in a place where they still have the most joy. They have more joy than I've seen anywhere else. You can't see this kind of joy in the United States. It was the last day of camp, so everybody who had already kind of been around was bringing more people. They were bringing their friends, they were bringing their family. And so you're looking out across this field and all you see is smiles. I was by the same coach who was telling me about the persecution. And he was talking about how he had never seen the community come together like this. He, he was praising God for this miracle that whenever you look out, you don't see a, a single frowning face and you're seeing Christian and Muslim families all together just to share the love and, and the joy of their kids that are here at this camp. And it was just such a, a beautiful a full circle moment. God put this in front of me for a reason. On my first Sunday back, it was very bittersweet because it's so sweet to be home but it, it's so hard to be away from everything that you were completely submerged in, knowing that my life looks different now. God is huge, so much bigger than I could have even imagined.